Hello, uh, so I'm Jeff Ralston with Ralston Eco Homes, and uh, we're at the Atkins duplexes again. Another thing we're uh, really uh, conscious of with these homes is indoor air quality. And we do a lot of things in the homes to uh, create a healthy environment. Um, and one of those things is we're working hard to mitigate for radon. So radon is a, uh, radon is a odorless, um, invisible gas that comes up through the soil and enters people's homes. And we live in Iowa. Iowa is a high radon area and uh, radon gets into most people's homes. Again, I think the only way you know whether you have high radon or not is to monitor for it. And there are a variety of ways to do that. You can hire a certified professional to come in and do a short uh, radon test. You can go to organizations like the American uh, Lung Association and they will send you kits. Oftentimes counties or states will offer free kits and you can do a short test. The American Lung Association actually has a 90 to one year long and I think those are useful. The shorter the test is, I think the less useful they are. So a product I like is something called Air Things. And the reason I like that product is that it can monitor your radon continuously. So you can, and it's amazing when you do that, when you monitor your radon continuously because you'll have three or four days where the radon level is in a very acceptable level. And then you'll have three or four days when it's above. And if you were to do your short three-day test in a time when it's high or a time when it's low, you'll be misled on, on what your actual level is. And it's actually long-term radon exposure that causes problems. And so I think continuous monitoring gives you a much better idea of uh, how much radon you're being exposed to. I, I've had discussions with people about whether radon is important or not important, but. I can tell you that radon is an important thing to be aware of. Ra radon gas in almost any concentration increases your risk of lung cancer. Uh, radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. And actually in smokers with radon exposure, their risk of lung cancer goes up even more. So, Knowing what the radon level in your home is and then mitigating it if necessary is really important. We do things even without knowing what the radon level is going to be to try and reduce radon levels. Such the things we do is we have a gravel uh, base underneath the slab um, and that helps protect. We have a 10 ml vapor barrier um, below the basement slab. Um, we overlap that barrier and then tape it all the penetrations that come through our vapor barrier get uh, sealed um, either with tape or um, some type of a uh, liquid sealant. And then that vapor barrier comes up and around the slab uh, to try and prevent any uh, radon gas from entering the home. All of our homes get a, a passive radon system. So the plumbers install a tube that goes into the sub uh, slab area to help draw radon gas out of the, that and up into the tube and out into the environment. And then we recommend monitoring uh, or, or measuring radon in, in all of our homes. 